today. Um, I am Amy Allgood with Nebraska City Tourism and Commerce. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Um, that is a quote that drives exactly with what uh, Southeast Community College has try always tried to do. And by expanding into these smaller communities such as Nebraska City with learning centers like this, this is awesome for our downtown and it's awesome for our residents by um, helping give them knowledge through com and with confidence and having it right here. Having, um, it's a source of pride to us in Nebraska City uh, to put such emphasis on our education and not only with our youth, but with our non-traditional students as well and you guys have helped us do that, so thank you. We have a lot of speakers here for you today, but I wanna give plenty of time to all of them. So next up is our mayor, Mayor Beckett. Uh, mayor Beckett was a helicopter pilot in the US Army for 26 years. He has a bachelor's degree in mathematics and a master's degree in legislative affairs. He's been very active in Nebraska City since moving here in 2009, and he's been our fearless mayor since April of 2015. We appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Fearless. Okay. <laughs> well, with this crowd, I know there's not a lot of, a lot of fear with the people in Nebraska City. We've got a lot of great folks. But uh, I can tell you last spring, we were really excited when we heard that Nebraska City was on the short list of possible communities to host and house a learning center for Southeast Community College. And we were jumping for joy that summer when we found out that, no kidding, we were going to host a learning center. So it was a great summer. And then I was quickly impressed by the Southeast Community College team on how fast they came into the community, got together community leaders, residents from surrounding communities, got the leaders from our businesses, our industry, as well as education leaders, Dr. Edwards, Dr. Hansen, and they got together to, to determine the need of what this learning center was going to need. What did they need to do to grow the footprint for Southeast Community College to make all the surrounding communities successful in their efforts? And how they were going to integrate into those other outstanding education institutions. It was truly impressive and it launched off really quick. And as you can see, things have moved fairly quickly. I have no doubt that this learning center is going to bear a lot of fruit. It's not only going to educate our youth, I think it's going to inspire our dreamers. It's going to spark our entrepreneurs. And it's also going to meet that wide range of interests of our lifelong learners. It has a really bright future, and I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to help all those individuals, but it's also going to help our communities and surrounding communities by preparing and developing that workforce that we're going to need for going in the future especially as we try and attract new businesses and trying to help our existing businesses grow. And it's gonna help those people develop the skills that they need for those jobs. And while they're in those jobs and mature with those organizations, it's gonna be a resource for them to continually come back to and tap into. So I'm really pleased that the Learning Center is here and it's gonna be a wonderful asset. And speaking of assets, um, Dr. Illich, you stole about 18 months being in this job, I have gone back to one person and said, hey, could you wear this hat for the city? Could you do that for the city? But she keeps telling me no. So again, I'm impressed with Southeast decision making and all that because they chose none other than Cindy Meyer to be the coordinator for the Learning Center here. Cindy has, has served Southeast Community College for four decades now as a continuing education director. Uh, she's been a spark in this community. She's one of those resources that I say is Nebraska City's greatest resource, our caring and giving people. She's been a spark to the community and a spark to a lot of individuals. And I'm sure on this platform and your role, Cindy, that you will continue to be a huge spark, if not a bonfire in that role. So 
It is my pleasure and honor to introduce the coordinator for the Nebraska City Southeast Community College Learning Center, Ms. Cindy Meyer. Well, I have to tell you that I'm thrilled to be able to serve the community in this capacity. It's been a long time since I've been able to work with so closely with the businesses in the area and I'm really committed to finding out what the educational needs are for this area and and um, I'm going to work really, really, really hard to bring that to you. And um, we had a full house here last night. We had somebody in a class going on in every room that we have. And uh, we have some of those students here today. And I just want to thank them for coming back and being part of this. And I hope you take a lot of pride in being some of the first students here at the Learning Center. Um, we're going to hear from two very important gentlemen here in just a second. but. I'm not gonna stand here and talk too long because I would like to have individual conversations with you to find out where you're at with what we're doing and the kinds of things that are important to you. Um, but I do wanna let you know that uh, after Dr. Illich speaks, we're gonna go out front, outside, uh, and do the ribbon cutting out there, and I sure hope that you'll join us for that. And it's my honor to introduce Dr. Dale Cruz. Dale's been a member of the South Community College uh, Board of Governors for five years. He was elected chairperson this last January. Um, he holds bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees from, South, or from uh, Nebraska City, Nebraska University at Lincoln. Uh, he's a graduate of Syracuse Dunbar Boca High School, and uh, he did most of his professional uh, career um, as superintendent and principal of high schools in Nebraska and Iowa. And here to share a few comments is Dr. Dale Cruz. Thank you, Cindy. I just want to say on behalf of the Board of Governors how pleased we are uh, to have this learning center here in Nebraska City. And how pleased we are with the commitment, as the mayor has said, not only from Nebraska City, but the surrounding communities that will support this. And we're very anxious to watch this center grow and become bigger and larger. And again, as the mayor said, to become an integral part of the, this, not only Nebraska City, but the whole surrounding area. So we're very pleased and excited to watch this all take place. Now, with that being said, I have a little speech here to give. It is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Paul Elledge, who has served as president of Southeast Community College since July 2014. Dr. Elledge came to SCC after a 17-year career at McLean Community College in Waco, Texas, where he served as vice president of research, planning, and information technology and as Senior Director of Institutional Effectiveness and Planning. Since his arrival at SCC, Dr. Elliott has implemented a new enrollment model and directed the college through the development of a five-year strategic plan and a 10-year facilities master plan, as, as well as preparation for a bond issue in November. As you can see, Dr. Elliott came and really didn't do a lot when he first got here. <laughs> so with that, would you please welcome Dr. Elliott. Well, I, I uh, actually promised my wife I wouldn't talk about the bond that Del brought up. No, I'm not going to talk about it. I, I will say that the mayor surprised me a little bit. I heard him say, Dr. Illich stole him. But, oh, I did something wrong. But then he said, I stole Cindy Meyer. That's just smart business. <laughs> she, you can see what she's done. It's incredible. We have, uh, apparently, we have 50 courses that we're offering this fall and this coming winter between the Nebraska City uh, Learning Center and the Plot Smith Learning Center, which will be cutting the room for just a minute from later this afternoon as well. So of those 50 courses, we've got continuing education courses, we've got credit courses, we're doing a lot of interesting things. You, if you get a chance after after I uh, speak, you can tour the facility. You can see we have uh, a couple of different unique things about this learning center. We have a life-size unit that allows us to broadcast courses directly from, from different campuses directly into the site. So that creates real efficiency, but also real accessibility. Just a couple of things I want to talk about. So how did we get to this point um, with these learning centers? One of the things that's so important and what I love about community college, community college I started when I had an associate degree and I ended up getting a PhD in experimental psychology. And I'll tell you, I have just as much respect for that associate degree as I do that PhD from Texas A&M. But to me, it's, it, it's the foundation. But one of the things that's fascinating about community college is we're open access. But to be open access, you have to be responsive. And we did, a, as, as Dr. Cruz mentioned, we went through a year-long strategic planning process 
and we recognized very quickly that we lacked presence. We had a very minimal type presence. We had some presence, but fairly minimal, certainly in terms of structure. Uh, we had a minimal presence in 12 or 15 counties. And so what we wanted to do was strategic position ourselves to meet the entire needs of all 15 counties. So we did a very, very careful analysis, and we looked at population mass, we looked at connectivity, we looked at accessibility, and we looked at geographical spacing. And Nebraska City was a very obvious choice for us. What we recognized was that by putting the centers where we're putting them, everyone in southeast Nebraska is going to be within 35 miles of either a campus or a learning center. And I'll tell you, what we're in right now I see as a start. This is, you know, as someone said earlier, learning is, it creates so many different things. It creates opportunities. It's just, a, it's an incredible, this is an incredible, really, opportunity for not just Nebraska City, but for the college to ensure that it's meeting its mission. So that's really what led us here. We did a very careful analysis as part of our strategic plan. And one of the things that we've been talking a lot about at the Southeast uh, College is we absolutely want to address two very critical issues in higher or in Southeast Nebraska, a lack of qualified workers and career and technical, as well as providing affordable access to higher education. So the learning centers is a, certainly a part of that, and we want to continue to expand that. But I, I will tell you this, while I'm the president of the college, it, I, there's no way I can do this without so many different people. So I want to thank a few people that actually did the work. I, I was the one saying, hey, what about this? And then everybody had to drop what they're doing and, and do a lot of work. So I do want to thank, there's several people on, our, on my staff that I want to thank. I want to start with um, Amy Chesley. She's our Dean of Continuing Education. She absolutely sort of led the charge on all of this. And there are several people that work with her. Dennis Hendrick, I know he's somewhere. He's my Vice President of Instruction. He's in the back, and so they work with several others. Let's see, we have Kelly Morgan, where's Kelly? I don't see Kelly, she's my Assistant Director of Outreach uh, Services. And then we have uh, Marguerite Himmelberg, who's part of our, I always get this wrong, but she's the Director of uh, Client Solutions. Client Solutions. So she does a lot of uh, contract training. In fact, I know we're doing some contract training right now with Cargill, is that correct? Oh, we have it. Oh. And not, not at this moment, but we have recently done Right, that. so we've been doing that. Um, we'll be doing all those kinds of things in this um, center, but the other, so there's so many different people. I know I'm leaving some folks out, but I really want to thank them because we didn't go out and hire a bunch of additional staff. We hired Cindy Meyer, but we didn't hire a bunch of additional staff. I put it on my administrators to figure this out, and they did an incredible job. But The other uh, folks that I really want to thank is just like all of all of you, I have a boss. I have bosses, uh, and that's the Board of Governors. And so I really like to recognize all the Board of Governors. We have many of them here. In fact, we're probably right out of quorum. I'm not sure, but we have a lot of Board of Governors here. So I, I would like to, well, let me go ahead and just kind of see if I can get all of this right. We have Kathy Borstroff here, uh, James Garver, we have Steve Altman, uh, Don Raymond, I don't see Don, there's Don. And then we have uh, Bob Fight. We have Nancy Sign, who's our vice chair. And then I know you met um, Dale Cruz, our chair. Oh, sorry, Ruth Johnson. I, I, it's not my fault, I can't see her because she's sitting down. <laughs> thank you, Ruth. I really want to, let's thank the board for making this happen. This, this doesn't happen without the board. They had to make the decision. It's not only making a decision to say, let's do these, let's have these learning centers, but you can't have something nice without investing in it. So when it comes to budget, you know, I'd like to think that I have that control, but that's, that's a board decision. So I really want to thank them for uh, you know, their courage and, and certainly for their support. And then just one more thing that I'll, I'll turn it over. But you know, one of the things that I really think is great about this opportunity is this creates an opportunity for lifelong learning. You know, we had that before here and there, but to have it actually here in your city, I think that's just gonna be tremendous. You don't have to drive to Lincoln or Beatrice or Milford or wherever you might otherwise have to go. We wanna bring the lifelong learning right into your city. So with that, I think I will, I will stop. But I want to thank everyone for being here today. Um, it's just tremendous. I think this show of support shows one of the reasons why we're here. There's an incredible opportunity. And Cindy has just done an amazing job to have this 
up and going so quickly. So thank you all for being here. We're, we're so happy to be here and looking forward to the future. So if you'll go ahead and go out front, but I don't want to look irresponsible with the budget, so please get refreshments before you go. <laughs> so I'm going to go out front and cut the ribbon. And thank you so much for being here. We're still live, live. 